Harry wet pants, a look-alike reporter booed by the British crowd, forced to go back to the U.S., unwelcome King Charles III, Prince William, and Catherine, the Princess of Wales, met some of their most ardent supporters on Friday. As the trio shook hands and chatted with people in the mall near Buckingham Palace, including those who've been camping out to secure spots for Saturday's coronation, royal superfans have descended on the British capital from all over the world. Carrying tents and cardboard cutouts of Charles and an impressive array of homemade crowns, in the afternoon, when the sun peaked out, the royals stepped out of their cars for a walk about King Charles. So nice to meet you. We came from America, said one woman. Well done, responded Charles, who shook her hand and moved along. One man said he was from Columbia, to which Charles responded. Many happy memories for the crowds. It was a treat better than the Harry and Meghan look-alike couple that had shown up at the mall on Thursday. In another story, a reporter named Paul Embry revealed a funny story while working near Buckingham Palace. Notably, his appearance is somewhat similar to Prince Harry, even more than Harry and Meghan look-alike, couple. Paul has a slightly more handsome face than Harry, but he's of similar height, with red hair and a beard, which inadvertently misleads the people around him, he shared. Someone just told me to go back to California. Most people are extremely annoyed with this reporter, they look at him with hateful eyes and always avoid standing next to him. It took a while for Paul Embry to understand that the reason was because he looked so much like the traitor Prince Harry. In the meanwhile, Princess Cape, praised by all royal fans, sported a bespoke white NIDI dress by Jenny Packham, featuring a belted waistline, a subtle back, split long sleeves, and black trim detailing. She paired the streamlines number with aquas, or as bow tie 105 black suede sling back pumps, a favorite design of Meghan Markle's. Standout shoes boasted delicate butterfly details in the back of the heels, adding a modern, dare we say, Y2K twist to the world's sophisticated regalia. The mother of three wore his silky locks down loose and a glamorous blowout and opted for a signature dewy beauty blend, a dusting of blush. Honey complexion and a flutter of mascara highlighted her picture. Perfect features after that, the Princess of Wales stepped out to attend a Rome Governor's General and Prime Minister's lunch ahead of the coronation of King Charles at Buckingham Palace. The role was accompanied by her husband, Prince William, for the smart occasion where she debuted an Ethel look with a contemporary twist. A BBC reporter in the crowd asked Kate how she and William were feeling, a bit like a swan, relatively calm on the outside but paddling on the inside. The always immaculately composed royal said an avowed Republican he might be. But Prime Minister Anthony Albanese was the perfect palace guest when he lunched with Prince William and Kate at Buckingham Palace, head of the coronation of King Charles III. Mr. Albanese earlier on Friday met UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak for talks focused on the OQUS defense pact, trade, and combating climate change. Following the 30-minute meeting in Downing Street, Mr. Albanese said he was glad the UK-Australian free trade deal had been completed in time for the King's coronation which the confirmed Republican described as a historic event of enormous significance.